and it broke the line and took the hook. Oh. You need a fish, man. I'm Greg Ovens. I'm Amos Rodriguez. And this is the 30 day survival challenge, Vancouver Island. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you're going to have to catch and cook it first. Uh, sure. Cheers, man. If you're just tuning in, don't forget to check out the link in the description below for the series playlist so you can start on episode one. And when this episode's over, check out that playlist and you can watch Amos's side of the adventure. Morning. Quite the day yesterday, packing everything and, uh, we ran out of daylight, so we just found some trees. They weren't ideal, maybe, but we found a spot. In our uh, unquenchable thirst for adventure, we got lost. Not really sure where we are, but we're in the bush. Pretty hungry, though. We need some fish today. we got to find somewhere. Boy, we, we couldn't even find a creek last night in the dark to uh, make coffee this morning, so... I'm not too happy with that. Can you? No, please, Finn. I'm talking. No. No. No, no. <laughs> First thing in the morning, it's got to be bringing a stick over. Uh, we kind of had an idea we were going the right way, but things are not marked very well here. Um, it's easy to get lost. There's all these forks and branches, and some of the roads are probably new, so... Maybe they don't even show up on the map, and then you take the wrong turns, and that's pretty much what happened to us. But we'll figure it out today. I had drops of water dripping on my head. Yeah. It's just dew. We went into town again to get another kayak. We're gonna leave the truck here tonight, camp on this river here, and then when the water comes up again in high tide tomorrow, kayak to the ocean, and then try to find a spot. Fishing should be good. We see the salmon in this river, so we're hopeful because, man, it's been about three days since we had a fish pretty weak and tired. I think we can hook into <clears throat> some fish in the bay here if we get to the ocean in the kayaks. The river is just down, if you can see through the trees there, it's only like 50 feet to the river. For tonight, just try to find somewhere to put the hammocks up, maybe try fishing the river. But I think once we get the kayaks out to the water, there's islands, there's options. Amos is down at the river trying to figure out where to set up a hammock. I'm going to follow him down there. Not even enough daylight to worry about getting all the gear to the river. Just get set up for the night kind of thing. Let's hike on this dry creek bed for now. Where'd Amos go, Finn? That seems solid enough. And then I know this big one. That's not an issue. These trees is covered in moss. There's a very well-worn bear trail right behind me here. Uh, you can see where Finn's walking back there. And 
I know it's a bear trail because there's bear scat all through here and it looks like it's a big bear. So we're finding these everywhere. So all these trails that are pounded down through the moss here is the bears and probably because the salmon are coming into the river thus the bears see i just walked a little bit and here's more scott really cool forest though all the trees are covered with moss it's very nice on the river i'm gonna set my hammock up before pitch black this time like last night several times now I've been caught having to either sleep on the ground or just not enough daylight to set up properly and that's kind of not the way to go really. There's islands out here we might be able to get to. It's nice we can have fires but this is peaceful until the bear comes around in the night and Finn goes nuts but uh, I'd like to get some video of these big bears. You see them and they just take off before you even get your cameras ready. But we've seen about 10 bears, two mothers with cubs. So that's uh, six right there. We saw a couple of really big ones. That's eight, nine, 10, 11. I think we've seen about 12 bears, but uh, they're just everywhere, obviously, in the area. Maybe we'll get a fire going, but we don't really have anything to cook. I see huckleberry bushes, but no berries. I don't know. Hopefully the fishing will be good for the last little bit that we're out here. I haven't done very well. I haven't done very well at all, actually. Yeah, where'd you go, Finn? See if it's high enough, Finn. Yeah, it's got to go up. Look out, please. It doesn't quite hit the ground. It sags a bit, but it'll be okay. I'm still about a foot off the ground, so that's fine. Now, I may as well try a cast or two in the river here before pitch black. Even if it's with my maps. A lot of islets on this pool. I'll just try a bucktail. Slippery on these rocks. There's one that jumped over by the log here. Uh, I don't know. It was a fish. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm thinking probably those those uh, coho. You got your tarp set up, eh? Another scenic spot. Everywhere you go in the bush, uh, there's unique areas. Anywhere in the world even. Like that last spot uh, was a great spot. Very unique. This is unique. Anywhere in the bush, anywhere in the world is kind of unique. I've been to Mongolia and Patagonia and Labrador, as you know. Even though I didn't stay in Labrador long. But uh, everywhere is just different. And unique but you have to get out there to enjoy it so I suggest that you do so you can see that this is a major bear trail through here all pushed down goes through here
It's right there, Finn. It's right there. Look. It's right there. You won't be able to smell it. You have to feel it. It's right here. There's not much for firewood right here though, is the problem. No fish for a few days now. We gotta, we gotta get some fish tomorrow. We've just been eating some berries and teas and this and that. But uh, we should get a fish tomorrow because we're going to take the kayaks out into this bay. We uh, have a camp set up here now. Get the kayaks in the river down into the bay. The fish should be pooling up, ready to come up the river. That's why all the bear trails and all the bear sign on the river here. We have to be diligent and try to get some fish tomorrow because uh, we <laughs> we just need some fish at this point. Uh, we're lacking energy, lacking fish. Ho wish us luck for tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. Hey, that's a neat effect. Yeah. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> oh. Morning. It's going to be sunny, but uh, we really need fish today. Uh, last night, I could hear something walking on the rocks, probably a bear. And Finley took off after it. And he was gone for. Oh, let me get. But uh, I can get up here. Yeah, he was gone for about 15 minutes, so I had to get up, go looking for him, calling him. He didn't come back, so I was getting a little worried. So I think at night I'm gonna have to tie him up, so he doesn't go after the critters and end up uh, getting killed or something, because there is a lot of bear sign. So. I gotta watch him better. Tie him up at night so he can't chase after them. We gotta get these kayaks in here so we can get out to the ocean. Uh, I might try fishing the river for a bit though first. Just because they're in there. and uh, But whether they're gonna wanna bite is a different story. I see uh, Moose. Oh, he's coming back now it looks like way down there on the point this river in the middle of the night came way up to the bank here uh, because obviously the tide came in and obviously the tide comes way up the river when it comes in so got to be careful of your gear too don't want to lose any of it Make sure this is fresh water. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Got the grill somewhere and I haven't located it yet. This one little tree is a little too wobbly, so I'm gonna move into the forest a little bit more and hang it on some bigger trees. It's getting too low to the ground. Sagging. 
pretty low again. Just can't seem to get it high enough. I know there's a trick to it, but yeah, so the loop here, put this around the tree, make your line come in here, and then the buckle. And this one locks against that one. Uh -huh. Put okay. it through that one. Yeah, yeah. And then put that one. And then we'll be through. through there. Ah, okay. So I don't need this one. No. Okay. Not in here, uh, not in there, yeah. That one goes in here. Yeah, along the rope there. Yeah, but right now it's too heavy with that sleeping bag inside. It will be hard to tighten. Yeah, I'll we'll take that out then. Yeah. yeah, then once you slide, then you, the hammock just goes in there, the rope. Okay. And then that one goes in there. Okay, that should hold it. Okay, all right, I'll look after the other side myself. Cool. Yeah, it's just I could never figure out those stupid things. That's higher now. Oh yeah, it's way higher. Well, that's up to my chest now. So now, when it sags, it should be okay. Yeah. All right. Beauty. Hey, this will be fun, buddy.
So Amos uh, took off. He went to try out in the bay for some salmon. I'm going to head up the river and uh, see what I can do up there. But what a beautiful spot we have here with the moss hanging all in the trees. You can see behind me. Sunlight coming through the moss. I mean, this is uh, this is like paradise in here. This is beautiful. Just not a lot of firewood. So now we got the kayaks. We can maybe bring some firewood to the spot. It's been about four days, I think, since we caught any fish. Well, since Amos caught any fish. I haven't caught any since day one or day three. Uh, had one on and lost it, but that's the way my luck's been on this adventure so far. Not very good luck. It's a good thing I have him along, eh? Otherwise, I'd be starving it out. <laughs> well, we've got some plants, some berries still, but uh, we need fish today. Really need fish. Just uh, kayaking up the river right now, trying to find a good place to maybe fish. Not sure how far I'll go. I'm kind of fighting the current, but it's pretty slow moving, so I'm making headway. But it's hard to get video and paddle. But I'll find a spot, maybe go to shore. Let's <laughs> see what I mean about the wobbling here. We're uh, going backwards now, so I got a paddle now. Well, there's fish jumping out here. I don't know where Amos has been. He's been gone a long time. I bet he's got some fish. I had trouble getting up the river because you're fighting the current, that's why. I'm just drifting with the wind here, slowly. Kind of up the river now. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting worried about Amos. He's been gone all day. And I don't even see the kayak out in the bay. He's got me worried sick right now. I don't know if he had to go to an island or really what's going on but it's a little upsetting waiting for somebody like this i mean he had a life jacket who knows if a current you know the tide is going out now who knows if maybe he couldn't uh paddle fast enough to get uh, back to shore i don't know but all i can do is wait for him now because i mean i have no idea where he might have gone There's Amos way in the distance. I've seen him dragging the kayak across those rocks over there. Thank goodness, man. I was getting worried sick. Oh, what a relief. I heard this noise and I looked way out on this gravel bar and I noticed that he was dragging the kayak because now the water's so low Obviously, you can't get through the channel all the way. I just came from that channel and I got through, but it was very shallow. So now, just in that length of time, um, I suppose he got grounded out there. So, But thank goodness. I didn't really know what I was going to do. Like, if he didn't show up, what would I do? And actually, the other thing is that, you know, like... Where do you go? You're way out in the middle of nowhere. Like, how can you get a hold of anybody easily? There's no service. It would have been a nightmare, but thank goodness.
Mr. Patrick song. I'll bring the box of flies. Okay. That's obviously what they're going for. Yep. Are they even going for it? No. Yeah, we need flies. The one I just caught was a coho. Oh yeah? He was not a chum. That's a nice one too. This is one of the only good trees for firewood. No fish again. Uh, Amos had one on and uh, he was saying that trying to get the video, some underwater footage, he thought it was all played out and then it got off at the last second too. So no fish for days now. It's getting pretty bad actually. Um, all behind me here, this is the creek bed. And this morning, this was all covered in water. Um, I didn't have really any trouble on the river going up or down, kind of. But now there's not even enough water to run a kayak. Um, like when the, when the ocean comes up, it floods this river way upstream. It's kind of unusual, actually. Once you get hungry and tired like this, everything, everything, it's just so much worse, so much harder. No energy. You know, if we had a fish to cook up right now, we'd be on top of the world. Spirits would be high, get some energy back, but it's been a few days. And then of course the mosquitoes and the no see have to be out just to add to the joy. Oh well, we'll get through it. Ah, boy. Ah. Big fish jump behind me. Oh yeah, they're jumping, they just won't bite. actually sometimes that piece of log there boy weighs about 10 pounds I don't know if that's gonna burn that's probably that bear that uh, Finn was after Tried making uh, coffee earlier from down closer to the fire and I cooked it up and it tasted awful. Salt water still from I guess the tide hadn't gone all the way out so about a hundred yards down there was still salt water in the creek obviously. Hopefully this is okay. 
Yeah, that's fresh water. I found some dock. I'll eat anything right now. Some of it's no good. And some plantain over there. I have the greens of this guy. It's kind of strange. It's actually growing right in the gravel bar here. So oh, there's our dock. I'm going to throw some plantain in it so we can at least have a good cup of tea. Broadleaf plantain. You can see the size of the leaves. Pretty big plantain. It makes a good tea. It's not really a great edible, but nutritious. And I think that's what we're lacking. So let's break the leaves up. Throw that in with the dock. That's the first dock I've really seen uh, around. So may as well eat it. <laughs> when you're hungry, you'll almost eat anything. I had this one person say, oh, I would never eat earthworms ever, even if I was starving to death. I said, well, you haven't been starving to death then, have you? They keep jumping, but they don't want to bite, eh? The most got a snag. He's going to try fishing, I guess. The most has got a fish. Oh, I hope you don't lose it. Oh, no. Oh. Off around the tree. Around the tree? Yeah. Oh, great. Big run. I don't know, man. It'd be hard. It'd be hard to get him. Unless he comes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If I had the kayak, I could go out there, but. I gotta drive him slow. There we go. He's coming back? No, yet, but tighten the drag a bit. He didn't like it. There he comes. Oh, there he is. I got him up. So Amos's fish just got off. And now now he says he's got another one. Okay, I better get this on film. <laughs> hmm? Oh no. Well, that's not great news. First one got off. He got another one on and it broke the line and took the hook. Oh, I hope he keeps trying. We need a fish, man. And these no see -ums are driving me nuts. There's clouds of these no see -ums. You got a piece of grass, Vince. It's a little old. When you're hungry, bugs are even more frustrating and it's these little no that are so small they can get through the mesh of your 
hammock too and it's just they get in your eyes your face they're just terrible frustrating ah just leave a guy alone man all year it's been bugs 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 bed bugs mosquitoes gnats black flies horse flies really getting tired of it almost looking forward to winter so sick of bugs Have some tea sorry about that outburst I don't usually get mad but the bugs drive you insane when you're hungry I guess it wasn't much of an outburst I just threw the stick you want me to come and help yeah put like a Taking lines still. Oh, no. Okay. Now get ready. Let's bring him in. Oh! Whoa! He's not ready. Hold on. Okay, I'll bring him in. Oh, will you? Oh, that's a big one. He's. Spawner, but it's food. Oh, look at the jaws on this thing. Whoa. Can't let him get away. I mean, he's almost done. We got some salmon. Or Amos did again. I'm gonna cook up a piece. We didn't bring the frying pans uh, close here. I mean, we still have stuff that we haven't brought here, but. Try a piece. It's a bit hot. That's hot. Pretty hot. Pretty hot. Definitely edible. Finally, we had some fish. I did not catch fish again, but we had some tea. Fairly successful in some ways. I'm old see, uh, he's the fish catcher, it seems, and you know, um, a bit of tea, this and that, but it was a hungry last couple of days for sure until now. Tomorrow's another day, and uh, I'm beat. I'm beat. I got wet feet, tired. I want to make a chair because my legs are getting sore and there's nowhere to sit by the fire and that's kind of irritating so is this light going here there can't seem to get a anyway my hair is such a mess anyways probably just as well if I do that <laughs> okay we'll see you in the morning <laughs> what else can I say uh, I always have a hard time doing these night scenes because I don't really know what to say uh, See you in the morning. Amos Rodriguez Survival and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft are brought to you by Fowler's Makery Mischief Studios. Check out our shop here. And for the next video in the series, hit the link here. And don't forget to subscribe to Amos's channel and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft here. And thanks for watching the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Vancouver Island.